Hello, today I'm going to show you how to open the Ricoh Magic MK802 or MK802 Plus Mini Android PC or Mini PC for Android 4.0. Um, what I've done, I use a credit card, well, a plastic card, and what I've done is I've uh, shaved the edge of the card at an angle. So basically, what I did, let me grab a knife. Got a Stanley knife blade and uh, just scraped along the edge of the card at this angle to create a sharp sort of knife edge blade. Uh, knife edge, let me show you what I mean. Basically, cut like that along the edge until you get, until you get this uh, sharp, you can see it, sharp edge there. So, well, not sharp, but it's, yeah, it is sharpish compared to the rest of the card. So what I do, I, uh, you'll see the device here. This is the one gigabyte DDR3 model, uh, one gigahertz processor, uh, all winner A10. Um, excuse the autofocus on the camera. This camera is not the best for autofocusing. Let me give it a chance to focus. Right, okay. So what you've got here, you got the power light here and the reset button here, the recessed reset button. You want to get a paper clip or the such like. Um, I use a little uh, brass pin and uh, put it in the hole straight. Excuse my fingers. And when you, well, basically, when you want to turn the, when you were flashing the device, etc., that hole is used for the reset button. So make sure the hole which is at the uh, bottom next to the Android little legs there, that's the reset hole there. Okay, so when I open this device up, you'll see around the edge of the device, there's a seam, a very distinctive uh, seam, which you can see here, um, where the two halves of the, of the, the housing join. What you want to do is get your credit card, which you've basically cut this sort of edge into or a thinner plastic card or a plectrum or whatever and what you do excuse the anti I'll tell you what I'll do I'll turn autofocus off for the moment because it'll be constantly flicking on and off the it'll be constantly going in and out of focus so autofocus is off for the moment so what you do you'll see the scene there get the card and just get it in there on the gap, where you, see, where, you see the, where you see the seam, and maybe the other end actually, maybe this corner here, where the mini HDMI is. Just press it onto that line where the two halves join, and you'll see it actually prize. The, there we go. It clicked. You see, it's prized the two. Um, okay, let me get it the light. You see that? It's actually prized them apart, and then rotate the card as you're pressing down, and push along very gently pushing but basically sliding the card along and you'll open all the tabs at once well one by one sorry not at once um, as you can see here this is already opened um, it started to open itself along and so push a bit further towards the end and then go back to the uh, HDMI end of the device and slide your card into the gap until it just prizes it open. It's not a, it's not a, it's not, it's not gonna, it's not gonna break the tabs unless you're very, very rough with it. Just push the card gently along. Put some light on this. Where's the light? Yeah, gently along until it opens it. Once the, uh, once the. Uh, the main part of the body is open, you can pull it gently until it lifts off the other end. And there you go, it's open now. You can tell, you can tell this is the MK802 Plus or the MK802 Mark II, I think, because it's got the uh, embossed lettering at the bottom where it says uh, HDMI, sorry, it says DC. I'm casting a right shadow here, and I DC host. You got the SD card slot. Let me hold this still. 
SD card slot uh, icon, which is a bit hard to see, just there, HDMI, DC, host, here are the vent holes for the CPU, the all winner A10, um, so that's the, anyway, that's the back case. So now, to get this device out of the casing, the actual PCB out, what you've got to do, you've got to lift the, you've got to free the HDMI socket. It's actually pushed into the hole that holds it steady, holds it in place in the casing. So you've got to get the HDMI socket and free it from that hole by gradually, maybe not, <clears throat> gradually prising it away from the hole or moving away from the hole but what you may need to do is grab the board here at the recess here there's a recess sort of sunken recess where the uh, mini USB socket is pull that um, let me see if I can get this a better angle hold it like this and pull this here outwards that direction gradually and push the board up and it should there you go okay it's not as easy, easy as it looks um, well look, there's the A10 chip before I go any further there's the A10 chip the all winner A10 chip let's get the autofocus back on and get some light on it <clears throat> that's the A10 chip there hope you can see that alright when it eventually focuses all in at A10 you've got the flash memory above the 4 gigabytes of flash and you've got the 2512 um, GT RAM chips uh, side by side at the bottom and then you've got the uh, RTL 8188 CUS I think it's CUS um, Wi-Fi chip there it is yeah and there's the antenna going to the back underneath on the, with the um, micro coax or mini coax, whatever it is. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to try and get this... I can't remember how I did it last time now. What you need to do... Yeah, there we go. Get the, Grab the casing where it meets the... where it surrounds the mini USB and prise it back. You want your credit card again. Yeah, you might want a credit card to buy another one in case you break it. <laughs> now you basically prize it. There we go. Prize your card just there before the mini USB. This bit here. Prize your card just in the corner of it. Just tuck it in there and lift gently upwards. The mini USB is now free, as you can see. It's out of the hole. Then go to the back where the HDMI is, the mini HDMI do the same, gently lifting or actually pulling with your fingers maybe or maybe not perhaps it might be just easier to lift this end here okay, you've got the translucent, uh, transparent uh, purplish bit at the end um, which surrounds the full-size USB host socket. Pull that away. It's it's, it's, a, it's, a it's not actually part of the main mould. It's just on a on a tab. So very carefully, pull that away, and then lift the board. So I was wrong about the. There we go. I was wrong about starting the HDMI end. Leave the HDMI end tucked in. Prise the plastic away here, and lift the board like that. To lift the uh, mini US, sorry, there. So it's just, just this. Let me show you this recess here. Um, see where I point my pencil. Hang on a second. Just there. Put the corner of your card in there. You see? And lift gently on the board. And that will lift the mini USB out of the way. As you can see. And then this end here. Just gradually bend this very 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 slightly bend the USB host socket housing slightly back that will lift the board out so now it's free now then 
what you can see here, hopefully, is the MK802 or AK802 Plus uh, Mini HDMI reset or flashing button. Autofocus, let's turn the autofocus off. That's starting to get annoying. Okay. Okay. Um, micro SD card slot housing there. Get my pencil so I can point like a teacher in a classroom. Um, mini USB socket. Uh, 2 amps, 5 volts DC input jack. Just there. USB host socket. Well, this one's a USB host as well. They're both on the, on the go, I think. Um, it's a very well constructed board, actually. Um, on the back, yeah. There's your there's your four gigs of flash memory, flash storage, which is a. Let me get my magnifier if I can find it and try and magnify it on camera for you. See if you can see that. Samsung K9GBG0U0A K9GBG08U0A That is an 8 gig, sorry a 4 gig NAND flash. You've got your all winner a10 CPU here, single core on this one, on the 802 Plus. Um, no need to magnify that, really. You think you can see that for a bit more light on it? Um, all winner tech. Let's get the light a bit higher. There we go. Here's the autofocus working. Let's try that again. No, it's off, isn't it? That's right, I turned it off. Okay. So there's your processor, just there, there's your flash, there's your RAM, that's two 512 uh, BGA RAM chips there. Come on camera, focus for goodness sake. See those? And they are of the type GT eight UB two five six M one six BP dash BG whatever they are, and this chip here, like I said before, is the that's your Wi-Fi chip, which is a real tech Wi-Fi chip, which is a when the camera focuses you'll see it eventually. RTL. 8188 Charlie Uniform Sierra. So that's Romeo Tango Lima 8188 Charlie Uniform Sierra. RTL 8188 CUS. That's your Wi Fi module with that chipset. There goes the antenna. And it's a dipole antenna. And it's stuck on rather crudely with some uh, plastic tape, uh, sort of insulation tape in the back of the in the back of the, uh, sorry, the upper part of the housing, which is a bit crude. I mean, it's okay, it's in place, but I can't help thinking this antenna here is going to interfere with the uh, the chips here because obviously that's folded right over there. There's no shielding whatsoever, so I'm pretty sure that antenna radiating um, power, radiating uh, RF from it is going to interfere with the chips on the board. Um, it could be wise to remove this. Let me do that now. It could be wise to remove this and put it somewhere else. Um, I don't know where. Externally, maybe. You can have it external to the device. Let's open this tape up a bit. Okay, pull it off. There's your full exposed antenna. Um, I'm going to take it, stick it down a bit more, a bit straighter. It wasn't very securely taped down. It obviously, being mass mass uh, mass produced, these are just rushed out the door very quickly, so they can't pay lots of attention to each individual device. But um, what I may do, yeah, in fact, I'm going to do that now. It's a very quick fix. I'm going to get a bit of masking tape. I'm not the best tape for the long-term solution, but some masking tape to stick it over the whole length of the antenna. <coughs> Excuse me. 
the antenna. Stick that over there like that to stop that um, any chance of that uh, RF antenna end uh, touching the PCB. I mean, this isn't shielded. I mean, that's not particularly good as it is. Having uh, an RF tra uh, antenna in close proximity to uh, microprocessors is bad news for a start off. I mean, I've seen a few people. Can <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> I've seen a few people complaining about the fact that um, they're getting slow or random disconnect, slow connection or random disconnect on the uh, MK802 or 802 Plus. I haven't had that problem yet, but it did take a while to connect last night at my friend's house, um, which was only one room away from the Wi-Fi router. So, yeah, um, so that's what I would do. But that's how to take it apart, and that's what's inside it. Um, I would recommend you have some sort of modification where you can you can drill a hole. I would I would in, uh, advise you to drill a hole round about this area here, where the little tab is, where the two halves of the casing join. You see the little tab there, just there. Maybe you can't see it now. Hang on. Where's that torch? Good old torch. A little tab there. And that's where the transparent housing locks into the main housing. I would recommend you drill a hole around here somewhere and thread that um, antenna through and mount it externally, maybe under a maybe on top of a shielded piece of foil or something to stop the RF uh, interfering with the chips. Because, like I say, you can't see any. There's no shielding whatsoever on here. So I would, uh, I'd be inclined to shield that um, externally or shield that internally or um, shield the antenna externally which have the same effect really um, I'm not an RF engineer by any means but you may you may be um, as well to get some thick um, plastic uh, self adhesive sheeting and stick it around here and on top of there stick some foil um, some copper foil and then solder that to earth um, the ground plane here which is this, this gold edge here I'm pretty sure that's a ground plane yeah I would be inclined to advise you to insulate by laying down some plastic thick plastic sheeting first or thick tape and then a copper copper shield or failing that an aluminium a bit of aluminium foil or some sort of shield to isolate all this um this PCB and the CPU and RAM from the RF from the antenna because it's pretty close pretty close proximity. Mom, they just thrown this thing together. I mean it's a well designed bit of kit, but I mean the RF shielding is terrible. I would be inclined to do that. Anyway, so now you've seen the side, let's close it back up again. So what you do is you <laughs> get it the right way around first of all. Make sure this flying lead here, this RF lead it's tucked between in the gap between the this is the gap there between the um, the USB full size socket and the jack. Oops, hang on, where's the camera? Yeah, make sure the lead is in that gap between these two between those two sockets. Okay. Otherwise, it just will just foul the socket. So once you've done that. Um, ease the USB full size socket into the into its hole in the housing, as you can see here. I'm um, having a bit of fun getting this antenna lead tucked in between the gap. Let's try again. There we go. Get that in first. Get the USB socket in the housing first. Then I would then try and get that that uh, lead in. Okay, push that down. And at the same time, ease the mini USB into its place here which is a bit, not fiddly but it's a, bit, it's, a, it's, a, it's a technique certainly um, hang on a minute no no I was wrong again HDMI first HDMI ending first okay sorry completely ignore what I just said put the HDMI end in first tuck it into its hole like this I mean, it's not hard. It's it's a fiddle if you haven't done electronics before. I've been doing this for years, so uh, not that you'd be able to tell. Um, push that in first, so that's in that's in its hole. 
Oops, there we go. And then go back round to the end and push down. Um, micro mini USB first into its hole, and then the transparent end will bend and there you go, it sits in. Now just push and again it clicks into place. Be very careful and um, don't break anything, which I I haven't done, but I may well have done, I could have possibly done. Um, as you can see here, the antenna lead is trapped on my version, so I push that away from the uh, power socket by giving it a little nudge with a pin. Um, sorry, this camera keeps losing focus. Um, it's not the best autofocus ever. Pull the lead up a bit so it's not. There we go. There we go. I'll pull that lead up a bit so it's a bit looped. Um, careful not to break it. And I push the housing fully over the USB, like so. Yeah, that's in now. So then bend that lead back against the board so it's flat. <coughs> Excuse me. And then get the top half of the casing. So make sure basically the lead is the lead is in the gap between the um, power socket and the USB host socket here. So it's not fouling the entrance to the USB or the power socket here. Um, and then make sure everything's flat and flush. And you're done. Then get the top half of the casing. Put it in position. Click it down. And you're done. Thanks very much. There you go.